is Farmville. It's a place where you grow farms and buy and sell things. It's not real, of course, but the impact the virtual marketplace is having on society and our culture today is very real indeed. How do you and who can profit from virtual goods? I put that question to our biz doc, Nick Bontis. Okay, Nick, these online applications for Facebook, Farmville, what is this all about? Yeah, so it's very, very popular. That's the first thing I need to say, Connie. 50 million people actively play on Farmville, which is the best known application virtual game on Facebook. It all has to do with what we call stickiness. Stickiness is the measure of time in terms of how long a user is on a website. So for example, if you go to Google, you type in something, boom, you're gone pretty quick mm -hmm. after that. Or if you go onto a weather site or a stock site. But when you go onto Facebook, you actually stay. And what Facebook wanted to do was, how can we make them stay even longer? So they created these games on Facebook where you're building virtual goods. And in many cases, the stickiness is actually in measured in hours per day. So a user, and typically it's younger folk, you know, 19 to 24 years old, they'll stay and play Farmville for hours on an average day. So um, you make virtual money, mm -hmm. you grow virtual empires that's in these right, games. That's right. So you start with a plot of land, and your job, of course, is to harvest the land. So you have to work hard to advance from one level to the next to make your farm bigger and bigger, and that's how you get points in terms of the cash. This is virtual cash now. Mm -hmm. And after you've planted some seeds, eventually you're going to be able to harvest the fruits and vegetables. And when you harvest the fruits and vegetables, you sell them in the marketplace, making more cash. The whole point is that everybody's got a score, and you're looking around to see what everybody else's score is. So there's a little bit of peer pressure. You don't want to be the lowest person of all your friends. And Facebook has really nailed a wonderful formula to not only keep these people having fun, but to keep them on their website as long as so possible. So who are these people? Well, typically they're younger folks who are playing these games. But what we're noticing also is because we know a lot about you on Facebook. Because don't forget, when you register on Facebook, we, you, we know what your interests are. We know your age. We know your gender. Mm -hmm. So what's happening now is when you play these games, real live companies are going to Farmville and they're saying, I'll give you 500 extra points on Farmville, Farmville Connie, if you fill out this survey. So that's another way that they're making money because the companies, for example, think of Procter & Gamble trying to sell more Tide. Well, they'll go to Connie and say, Connie, can you fill out this survey to answer some questions about how you're using Tide? And you'll fill out the survey. Why? Because you want more virtual money. Why do you want more virtual money? Because you want to buy more land to increase your Farmville status. So it's all connected, and that's how they're making money. And this, this is real well. money here. We're talking real money, That's not right. virtual. So Facebook actually makes a 30% margin on that cash transaction. And here's the other part. Because people want to rank so highly on Farmville, Facebook actually gives them the opportunity to pay real cash to get fake points. So imagine people actually paying their with their credit card, you know, $50 to actually get a couple of hundred of actual Farmville points and people are actually doing that. So it's a, an amazing new virtual world. So we knew we were moving into the virtual world, but here we're now moving into a virtual currency in the virtual world. So it's kind of an amazing thing. So what's the future of these virtual yeah. applications? So the future, of course, is all these games on mobile phones. Ah. Uh. So you can imagine now, it's, you know, it's bad enough that I'm sitting on the computer now creating a virtual farm, but now imagine you're sitting on the subway or on the go train or you're traveling, you know, and you're wasting some time in the back of your car, you have an hour to waste. Well, imagine now you're working on your farm on your cell phone. Again, another way for Facebook to do one important thing, and that is keep you on their site. Because the longer they're on your site, the more advertising revenue they're going to make. I don't know. I think I'd rather go farm a real farm. That's How right. About you, I Nick, agree. You think? Real fruits All right. and vegetables. Yeah. yeah, they taste better anyway. <laughs> yes, they Thanks, do. Nick. We'll see you next Thank time. Thank you.